Hello and welcome to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to discuss some of the most common mistakes people usually do while connecting their Google Sheet with Public Connect and how you can avoid those mistakes as well. So let's begin. Right now in my Public Connect account, I have created a workflow and I have selected Google Sheet as a trigger application and new or updated spreadsheet row as a trigger event. After this, as we all know, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL and we have to use this webhook URL to connect our Google Sheet with Public Connect by following the help text given below over here. But after copying this webhook URL, the first mistake which usually people do is having multiple Google accounts logged in in their browser. So right now you can see that in my browser, right now I have only one Google account logged in in my browser. But it is most likely possible that you may have multiple Google accounts logged into your browser. And having multiple Google accounts logged in in a browser may create some authentication issue between Google Sheets and Public Connect. So to avoid it, you can ensure that you may have only one Google account logged in or if you can't do that, you can use the incognito tab as well. So while adding this webhook URL or while connecting our Google Sheet with Public Connect, just use incognito tab, log into your Google Sheets account in the incognito tab and here you can set up the connection as well. This will avoid the authentication issue between Google Sheets and Public Connect of having multiple Google accounts. Now after this, the next issue which usually people face is adding the wrong webhook URL. So here guys, after installing the Public Connect webhooks add-on, when you go to initial setup, in this initial setup window, usually people copy and paste the wrong webhook URL or they make some mistake while adding the webhook URL over here. So you have to very sure that while copying the webhook URL from your browser in your Public Connect workflow, just copy it correctly and then add the exact same webhook URL in this initial setup window over here as well. Now the next issue which people usually face is with the trigger column. So we all know that trigger column should be the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. So let's take an example in the background. Like right now in this Google Sheet, I have four columns. Column A, Column B, Column C and Column D. So Column D is going to be my trigger column because whenever the data will be added in Column D, I want to receive the data inside Public Connect. So that is why I will be selecting Column D as a trigger column. Now instead of this, if you select column E as a trigger column and you are not entering any data in column E, then in that case, none of the data will be sent from Google Sheet to Public Connect. And if you select column C as a trigger column, then the data till column C will be only sent to Public Connect. Data after trigger column will not be sent. So guys, to ensure that you get the complete data, the correct data, you have to select the trigger column correctly as well. So if you just want the data tilt column C, you don't want to get the data from column D. In that case, you can select column C as a trigger column. But if you want to get the data of the complete row, you have to ensure that you select the last data entry column as a trigger column. So we are going to enter column D as a trigger column. And then just click on this send test button. Now after clicking on send test, it is showing us test data has been sent successfully. This means the data of the very first row after the headers is sent to Public Connect as the test response. And in a, here in our Public Connect workflow, you can see that we have received the same response, the same data as well. This means the connection is working perfectly fine right now. Then just click on the submit button. And after submitting it, to ensure that next time, whenever we add a new row of data in the Google Sheet, if you want to instantly send that same data of a new row till your trigger column to Public Connect, what you have to do? You know, you just have to go to extensions, Public Connect webhooks, and you have to select this send on event option. By selecting the send on event, here you can see that it has been tick marked over here, as you can see. And after selecting it, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add-on that whenever the data in a new row is added, instantly, immediately send that data to Public Connect. So by selecting send on event, we are enabling the option to instantly send data to Public Connect. So after this, whenever in a new row, we add a new data till our trigger column, immediately that data will be sent to Public Connect. So let's check it. Let's click on this recapture webhook response button. And then in this new row, we add a new data. For example, I'll add the name mass Public test. This is the name. This is the email address. And this is the mobile number, for example. Sorry, this is the company. So in our Google Sheet, guys, here you can see that in a new row till our trigger column, that is column D, just now we have added a new data. And because we have selected send on event, we will see immediately, instantly that data will be sent to Public Connect. 
and yes here you can see that in public connect you have received the response so these were some of the most common mistakes people usually do while connecting or integrating google sheets with public connect and in this way you can avoid all of these mistakes as well so guys if you have any other doubts or queries you can write us in the comment box below or you can come to us on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like button share it with others and to get more content related to automation and integration subscribe to pavli so this is it for today's video guys thank you have a great day